Well, during these last days of the world, the Bible tells us that Satan will raise up a great antichrist who will reign over a world empire. He will enslave the entire world under his power and then will unleash a horrendous persecution of the Catholic Church and a reign of terror the like of which history has neither known nor imagined. In addition to taking over the world, he will take over all religions. He will subdue all churches. And he will combine and amalgamate them into one great world religion and eventually make every human being bow down and worship him as God under penalty of death by starvation. The atomic peace flame is to be kept lit until all atomic weapons have been eliminated from the planet. The peace flame also has a hidden message. In the belief system of the Brotherhood of Death, the flame represents that man, through secret knowledge, can become a god. I realize this sounds unusual at first, but when you realize that in their belief system, this is the flame of Prometheus, this is the flame that goes back to the ancient mystery religions, and this flame represents seeking knowledge and that through knowledge man then moves up and eventually becomes illuminated and is a man god this is a belief that was shared by many people uh, throughout history the pharaohs of, of ancient egypt are prime examples and in that belief system it really didn't matter too much what you did to other people what really mattered was at the end of your life how much wealth and power that you accumulated and then you would put that wealth and power in a triangle or pyramid structure be buried with it and take it off to the next life for use there that's why you will see many of the symbols from ancient Egypt in secret societies such as Freemasonry and here in monuments at the Hiroshima Atomic Bomb Museum as well as at Nagasaki at the Atomic Bomb Museum and Peace Park in that city. When you understand what these symbols mean, simple things like the peace flame can take on an entirely new meaning.